Hello guys, the Water Strider here, and today we got another booster box opening for the latest Pokemon TGC set, the Steam Siege. Yes, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna make a quick Steam joke. You know, there's my Steam sales. Let's see if the Steam sales are worth it. Now, before we open this, uh, we'll just have a quick look at the box. Actually, look box itself. It says uh, Pokemon TGC Online. We got Steam Siege with the mascot being uh, the mythical Pokemon, which will be coming out soon, uh, Volcanion. Uh, on top here, we got a shiny Mega Gardevoir, which Gardevoir has been a lot of Pokemon TGC sets a lot lately, like the one in Generations. And on the left side, we have um, Yvatol Break. And on the right side, we have Azurnius Break. So, without further ado, let's just open this bad boy. Alright, so we finally opened uh, the, the Steam Siege booster box. Uh, we'll g there's um, The booster box contains 36 packets, so I'm gonna do like 9 packs per episode. Will I get something good? Well, it's a booster box, so maybe I should get something good. For this um, part 1, well, I do not know. Now, before I owned this booster box, I had already had um, two Steam Siege packs earlier on. Uh, a few days before I had it. I'd already... I kid you not, in one pack, and the third pack, I had a Volcanion EX, and a Pokemon Ranger Full Art. Uh, can the camera just focus a little bit? Yeah, there we go. I'll, I kinda lost it as well, because my friend like brought like crud tons of packs. And apparently this set contains a brand new Pokemon for Sun and Moon, uh, Magirna, which I really, really, really want in this set, so... So what I'll do, let's just open one, and let's see what we get for our first pack, which... There's a TGC code card on there, which I'm going to ignore. Hopefully, it won't make a mess as I did before. So, so what? So here's what we got. We have a on. We have an Honorif, a fossil Pokemon, a Nidorino. There we go. Our first Spirit Link, and that is uh, Steelix. Yeah, Mega Steelix is in this set, and apparently, this is the first and only set in um, the X and Y set where you got dual typing. Also shiny as well. Oh, what a good start. We have an Evil Tall Reverse Hollow Rare. Wow, that was a good start. And we have um, Bastiodon. Or Bastion, as I like to call it. Because, <laughs> you know, um, Overwatch. I've been playing a lot of that lately. So I'll put um, Evil Tall at the back. All right, we got a legendary, like, in the beginning of the pack. So, wow, what a good start. Yeah, I usually keep the packs. You know, I'm pretty sure you know me by then. You know, I always tend to keep the packs. Right, so we're on our second pack. So yeah, so we got loads of like shiny Pokemon, and whatever there's a shiny Pokemon, there's dual typing to it. So obviously you can you just saw that Litwick there. All right, so we have Pokemon Ranger. Um, can the camera focus once again? Can it do it? Just for me. Let's move it. Now nah, it won't matter anyway. We got a rapid. We got a rapid dash. We got an Ambi Palm. My God, that is one creep. Creepy, like, amber palm there. Can, can the camera just focus a bit more? Can it focus a bit? Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, that's very seductive there as well. They always do seductive cards. There's a Litwick we saw earlier on. We got a Nose Pass. And Kim Chars being a cheeky monkey stealing gears, of course. We got a Nidoran Mail. Clonker. A Tangela. And we have a Pyro. Uh, non hollow that is a cool card. That's some Lion King stuff here. Look, look, what have we got? We got a bunch of Braviaries and one Pyroar. I like that. Uh, I heard there's a Pyroar break in this set as well, so... Hopefully I can... Hopefully we could get a Pyroar break, but I don't know what breaks we can get. So, open our third pack. So, I heard that, like, the next... Oh, that one's falling off. Oh, that's alright then. I heard that the next set of um, the November set... It's um, Evolutions, which is the true re-release of the original base red and blue set. So here we have, we have uh, an armor fossil for shield on. All right, all I need is a shield on for that one. We got a Flaffy. We have a Monferno. A Cloncher. Bergmite. Another Kimchar. A Yanmar. Mari. Oh, I like the artwork of Mari. Look, look how fluffy it looks. We have a reverse of a lot of Halukia. And we have, oh my god, we have... Another evil toll, but this time in hollow. Wow, we got two evil tolls. Can I get an evil toll break in this set? 
Well, I don't know. We'll just see what happens there. So I'm just going to put Evertal at the back here. All right, we're off to a pretty good start. Um, Evertal reverse hollow and um, Evertal um, hollow. Next man, I'll have a non hollow. We have a shiny God of War there. So this set is also tying to the recent Pokemon movie. Um, Volcanian and the Mechanical Marvel, which is what the English um, dub has called it the movie. So what we have, so what we have here, we have a la we have a lampent, a Klefki, Jingle Jangle. I love Klefki. Klefki is so good. Well, I, I use a I use quite a bit of Klefki in um, X and Y in competitive. We have a Dino, a Chimchar. I heard there's a Hydreigon breaking this set as well. We have a Jumpluff, and we have oh my god, we have a Hollow Xerneas as well. What is up with these Hollow of the Le of the legendary duo in X and Y? Look 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 at look at this look at this. We have a hollow evil tall and we have a hollow Xerneas. Look at those hollow lines. Look at it. It works well on Xerneas as well. It, it looks beautiful. Evil tall just looks badass. It's a bad it's a badass bird. It's a bacon bird. Shiny evil tall. I haven't got the shiny evil tall tin yet. But I, I so I bought the perfect Zygarde one because you know it's Zygarde, it's kinda new here. No EXs yet, no full arts or breaks, but that's okay. We haven't even run into a dual typing yet, neither. At least not yet. Well, maybe for this pack anyway. So we have a we have a special we have a special charge. We have a shield on. Oh, finally we got the we got the whole shield on now. A flexion deer, a ponyta, Dino again. We have a Litwick, Nose Pass, a Chimchar. Sorry, move the camera. A reverse Hollow Leo, and we have an Avalug. Okay. I expected Avalog to have a, a lot higher HP, but um, no. It's weird how Avalog is just like a giant table, but yet it's um, you know, it's, it's like six feet tall. I expected to be like a, a really really giant Pokemon, but um, no, um, not really. He's not he's not even that tall at all. All right, so we open one. Oh God, <laughs> I'm not doing too well with these openings at, at the moment. Anyway. Can we get something good? Well, I do not know in all honestly. We have a Fluffy. We have another Fluffy. Another Steelix Spirit Link. A Shield on again. There's a Shellos. Clonker and Meowth. I heard in the Korra Crawl that Meowth just got a um, got a like a, a Lola form, which he was a Dark type. Which it sounds really cool. It was revealed um, yesterday yesterday morning on um, Korra Crawl and Surabi.net. There's like a dark type Meowth, which he lo he just looks like a just just a recolored Meowth, maybe with like high like longer whiskers. I don't know. The artwork lo looks makes him look so swag. And there's like fire type Marowak, which oh my god, I didn't realize I didn't notice until my brother older brother pointed out that it looks like Ghost Rider. I don't know. Fire Marowak is so cool. All right, we got three packs left. We're not do we're not getting anything good interesting here at the minute, other than the hollows. We have a dual what? Oh, there we go! We got, we got, we got it. We got our first shiny, and our first dual typing for this booster box. It's a shiny Azumarill. Um, it's not. It's obviously a non-holo, oh, non-reverse holo though. But I'll put this in the back there because I want to collect the, the dual types. I like how it looks as well. And this is a shame. This is like the only um, set that this ever happens. We got a Hoppip. We got a Sneasel. We got a Rufflet, and we have. Oh, beautiful! We got another shiny dual typing hollow Bisharp. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the card. Just look. A blue Bisharp. Oh, look at that. Look, look, just look at that. You got steel, you got steel and dark type, which obviously that's Bisharp's normal typing anyway. But look look at the writing, like how it like collides with black and white. I like that. Alright, so we're getting good. We 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 are we are getting there. We will get an EX, folks. Don't worry about that. We will get an EX or a full art. But the only thing I want in this set, which I already have a Volcanion, but I still flip out if I do. All I want is a Magirna. I want Magirna because Magirna is a brand new Pokemon. So I kind of want to start off with the whole Gen Seven thing. So always do the free card. Always do the free card trick when you open these things. We got a Rapidash, which I'm surprised it's a. Uh... It's a uh, uncommon. I got a Persian. Oh, look at that Persian. It looks like he's hunting the um, Flabebe. A greedy dice. Oshawott. A rufflet. Tangela or Spaghettios, as I like to call it. Another Mareep. A, a, that's free Steelix. 
Spirit Links anyway, and we get another Bastiodon. Alright, we're not doing too well. Come on. We got one more pack away, guys. Just one more pack. Whoops. I just hit the camera there. <laughs> My bad. Right, we got one more. Come on. Give it a flap. Give it a flap. Give it a flap. Can we get something good out of this flash pack for um, this episode? Because I really, 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 really want an EX. I could use an EX right now. Like, I really could. Come on. What have we got? We've got a greedy dice. Jingle jangle. There we go. We got a God of War spirit. Like, look at her. She's like being all magic girl and stuff like that. There's a Kinshar. Rufflet. Shellos. Kalancha. Meowth again. Larvesta. Can we get a... Okay, we have Volcanian. We have regular vo regular rare Volcanian. Um, I'll t I'll take this. Yeah, I'll 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 take this one. Is that? Oh, that's just an empty pack. All right, that's um. We're off to a good start. Uh, no, nothing spectacular like Fates Collide. You know, nothing new, nothing special. But you know, we we got we got we got two shiny dual types, a Volcanian and all that. So let's let's just have a recap before we move on to the next um next part for the for the next day or so. Oh god, I gotta stop moving the camera around. Alright. Alright, so what do we have so what do we have? Well, we go reverse order now, aren't we? Focus a bit. We have a Volcanian, Shiny Bisharp dual type. We have a shiny Azumarill, a hollow Xerneas, and not one, but two hollows, one reverse, one regular, Evil Tall. Oh my you know I love these hollows with the lines. They look really really good. So yeah, nothing spectacular out of the Steam Seeds Booster Box, at least nothing, at least not yet though. But stick around for part two for um, Steam Seeds Booster Box opening. This is the Water Strider here, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you comment, share, like and subscribe. And as usual, see you later and have a good day.